Developing your instincts in FIFA to the point where when you have an opportunity to pass into a striker and the opportunity presents itself, you will take it because your instincts are used to making those passes and they are used to playing in a certain way. I'm about to break it down for you guys. Griezmann, three men around him to somehow find some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. It almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for it. Oh! It's a display game. Absolutely ridiculous. The last to come on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We of talked margin. about Wesley Cooper. He's not here to make up the numbers. Now it's going to be another discussion style esque, if you like to call it, video for you guys. A more of a relaxed one, a less edited one. And in general, I want to talk to you guys about developing your instincts when attacking and building up in FIFA 22. And in general, being able to find those key killer passes that will be a game changer for you in FIFA. Now, let's just face it. FIFA, the whole point is to find the striker's feet, is it not? You want to find your striker's feet. Number one, because they're the goal scorers. Number two, if you find the feet of the striker, it draws defenders out of their position. Runners can then run in behind. Number three, okay, you can also turn and shoot. You can actually use the striker to dribble in and out, make the defender commit, and turn and shoot. He's the one that will do that job. Now, in terms of developing your instincts, this is something that will take a long time for you guys to do. But a lot of the time, people don't take those risks to find the striker's feet once they have obviously built up and got around the 18 yard bots area. They won't have, you know, developed themselves to the point where they will have the instinct, have the game experience to find that pass. Now, it's taken me a long time. Don't get me wrong. I used to be a very passive uh, attacker, I used to keep ball. I used to keep, basically, I like to call it pointless possession. And I would have no flair or jazz in my attack. Now, the way you can do that is you can take those riskier passes and get a feel for the game to the point where you know what passes will work and what will not work. There are times when finding the striker's feet from a certain angle will work, but people who haven't developed their instincts and haven't gathered that, you know, game knowledge won't make that pass that could actually create themselves a goal scoring opportunity. They will usually wait for an absolute clear cut pass into the striker before they do it. The trouble is, with how AI defending is, it's not FIFA 15 anymore, lads. It's FIFA 22. EA are catering for the casual player. The AI is so strong that people can literally sit back with one defender and allow the other 10 defenders to do the job for them. In my opinion, in these changing, there, there needs to be a skill gap implemented, and I believe manual defending needs to be brought back into the equation. Although manual defending still will help you win over AI defending in the long run, and when I say that, I mean every single pro player will defend manually. They use right sit switching, they press manually, they don't rely on team press. You know what I'm trying to say. Now, lads, develop yourself to the point where you can find the striker's feet and get a feel for what passes work. And the only way you can do that is by playing enough games, but also feeling out what works. I can tell you guys to find the striker's feet and what angles work, but it's really up to you to figure out yourself as well. Feel, get a feel for the game of what passing angles will work into the striker from what areas of the pitch, and get a feel for how much of a gap needs to be open before I can make that pass. Because when you know that knowledge, you will know when to pass and not when to pass. Okay? You'll know. You'll get a feel for it and your instincts, and that's the whole point of this video, I'm trying to teach you about instincts. Your instincts to make that pass will know. You will know to yourself, this pass will work in the striker. This is what will take you to that next level. It's something that pro players have had to obviously work on for years, and this is something that you guys need to start working on now. <clears throat> okay, that will sing on the end of it though. I hope it made sense, and I hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram, okay, we'll keep in touch. I'm also showing you my progress in the No Money Spent series over there, as also as well as my 
lifestyle ladder. So go and check that out. Also, I'm coaching. I've got many testimonials saying that I've taken people from very low divisions to elite, to the top. They really have. Okay, lads. All right, there's five-star reviews on my academy. Okay. It's a very good academy. I'm helping everyone on there. I'm also helping them prepare for FIFA 23. Something people don't do. Okay, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm preparing you guys for the next iteration of game. If you want to be the best you've ever been in terms of best equipped, if you're going into a new game and transitioning, I'm helping people over there now. Go and check it out. Okay, the link is down below. Patreon.com, AF Academy. Lads, you won't regret it. That was single on the end of it. Hope you enjoy it. I'm out. Sign up. Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye.